last news um, last news Obama on call out culture that's not activism all right let's read the summary former president Barack Obama it's so funny that they it says former president Barack Obama I mean do, does somebody not know that I mean I'm glad that we're assuming that some people don't know that but anyways uh, former President Barack Obama made a rare foray into the cultural conver uh, conversation objecting to the prevalence of call-out culture and wokeness during an interview about youth activism at the Obama Foundation Summit. This idea of, so quotes, his quote starts here, this idea of purity and you're never compromise and you're always politically woke and all that stuff Mr. Obama said you should get over that quickly so let me just read that what he said again to make it clear so this is what Obama said he's calling out called out culture and wokeness okay so he's saying the idea of purity and you're never compromised and you're never always politically woke and all that stuff you should get over that quickly the world is messy there are ambiguities he continued, people who do really good stuff have flaws. People who are f fighting, um, what? People who are fighting may love their kids and share certain things with you. Okay, so should we watch the video? Do you guys want to watch the video to see the full context? Because a lot of people are going to be like, out of context! So let's give them the video. Let me see, you guys can see the video or not. Wait, where is this? Uh, let me see if I can show you the video. Let me show you the video. Let me, hold on, hold on. Go here. One second, one second, one second. Oh, why is this not showing the full thing? Let me put this over here, over here. I should have done this before, sorry. Okay. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to agree with this. So let me give you an alternative view on this to see if I could find, because I'm pretty sure I'm also going to agree with most of this. But for the sake of argument, uh, let me see if I could find a way to disagree with this slightly. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, because this is pretty refreshing to see somebody from the left be saying this. I know Obama has been saying that for a while, but this is the most... Um, outspoken, the most clear he has been for it. Let me know if you hear the audio. Hold on. You know, this, this idea of purity and you're never compromised and you're always politically woke and all that stuff, I, you should get over that quickly. <laughs> the, world, the world is messy. There are ambiguities. Yep. People who do really good stuff have flaws. People who you are fighting may love their kids and, you know, share certain things with you. And, and, and I think that what one danger I see among young people, particularly on college campuses, Malia and I talk about this. Yara goes to school with my daughter. Um, but I do get a sense sometimes now among certain young people, and this is accelerated by social media, there is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or used the word wrong verb or then I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> Let me get on TV, <laughs> watch my show, watch Gronish. <laughs> um, you know, that's not, that's not activism. That, that's not bringing about change. You know, if, 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 if all you're doing is casting stones, uh, you know, you're, you're probably not going to get that far. That's easy to do. Okay, let's bring in, let's go back here. All right, so that, that seemed pretty good. 
Um, it seems pretty good because we are as we all are assuming what this is a response to. But if you get a more if you get a more general look at what he's saying, I have some problems with it because there many things do need to be called out. Okay, the problem is not that people are being called out. The problem is the standards that we're using to call out people by. Because the standards, some of the, the, the things that are happening right these days, you know, the PC culture, the woke culture, they're just ridiculous standards. But some things need to be called out. Homophobia, real homophobia needs to be called out. Real racism needs to be called out. Um... Drone strikes, drone strikes with 90% civilian casualty needs to be called out, right? Uh, I, don't, I, I hope you guys know what I'm referring to. Obama's drone strikes, right? Um, you know, bad foreign policy in Syria and Iraq needs to be called out. I agree that just only calling out people is not enough. Doing something to replace it or to overcome it or to provide like just be like oh that's not the right way of doing feminism or that's not women rights activism well okay great do do that if you're and do real women's rights activism if you think that's not right like just don't just call things out also do replace it with something right so do actual activism so i agree with that so the parts that i agree is that Calling out by itself is not enough, but I'm hoping that no, we're not condemning all types of calling out. And I think there's two different levels of standards that we have. Um, is I, I think people's beliefs and people's actions. These two things should be different. There should be different levels of tolerance for it, right? So I have a higher level of tolerance for beliefs than for actions, right? So your beliefs have to be, and by tolerance, I mean allowing it, not like I accept you with you, I, I agree with you, right? So even if I disagree with you, I mean, my tolerance for belief is unlimited, almost unlimited, I think, right? Because, but, and by tolerance, I don't mean I agree with you, but would I support your right to believe it and to say that you believe it and to promote what you believe unless it, uh, unless you're advocating directly for someone's killing which is goes with the uh, slowly moving to the action side right so or you're scamming somebody which is also slowly moving to the action side. so when it comes to belief the standards are for me are when it comes to tolerating and allowing things are very low when it comes to actions like drone strikes like real hate crimes, real hate crimes, not those fake, oh, you offended me, that's a hate crime bullshit. Um, these are, these things need to be called out. When you go from the realm of belief to the realms of actions, then shit needs to be called out, man. Shit needs to be called out, okay? Just because some people have ridiculously high standards that, oh, you can't use this phrase like this, and you, oh, if you did use this word instead of that word, then you're a fucking Nazi or something. Just because some people have ridiculous standards, that doesn't mean that calling out people is not the right thing to do in certain circumstances. So, but if you, again, he is, he is, if he's only referring to this high standard, woke, the woke culture, the I don't know the PC culture, which is we recognize by their ridiculously high standards, you, not just high standards, useless standards, right? Even if it was high standards, but it was high standards in the right di the right direction, I could maybe get behind that, even if it was high good high standards, right? But useless high standards uh, that uh, that as Obama himself pointed out, makes them eat their own, take out their own leaders because nobody could. Uh, survive those standards um, then if he's only referring to that I could get behind that and again I could get behind that even though I disagree with Obama I could be like oh, Obama you're right on this even though 
I really, really disagree with a lot of your foreign policy. Okay, I don't have to agree with your foreign policy to uh, to uh, to agree with you here. I could be like, hey, Obama, I think your foreign policy was shit, but I agree with you here. I'll support this. Yeah, you're carrying out the woke culture. If you're only referring to the woke culture, if you're only mm, referring to the PC police, then yeah, I completely agree with you. But if you calling, uh, if you are calling out calling out in general, which would be kind of circle, which could, yeah, actually you're calling out, you're doing it yourself, you're calling out a uh, world culture. So you cannot, um, because I'm pretty sure Obama is unlike Trump, he's very smart and he's very well spoken, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure based, based on how smart he is, I don't think he's calling out all forms of calling out. So I'm assuming that he's only referring to the woke culture. So it, based on that charitable assumption uh, which I think is pretty fair given how smart Obama is I, I agree with Obama here and um, given that he he is not including other forms of calling out justifiable forms of calling out I like to call out Obama's drone strikes and his horrific um, foreign policy and everything else he did many not everything else he did many good things okay he did many good things but when it comes to foreign policy when it comes to Syria Again, a lot of people call out his foreign policy in Iraq. I have a more. I think he did worse in Syria than he did in Iraq. Anyways, that's a topic for a different for a different time. But he's very smart. He's very well spoken, and I'm hoping that in this scenario, he's not calling. He's not referring to all forms of calling out, and I call him out on his shitty, shitty, shitty uh, foreign policy. Uh, and I know a lot of people in my audience disagree with me on that. Uh, and you can let me know why you disagree with me on the comment section and let me know if you want to have more foreign policy discussions on a live stream or something like that um, and again if you all if all you're doing actually I don't know if all you're doing is calling out people are like well that's not activism well maybe you're not an activist maybe maybe you don't pretend to be an activist and you want to call people out right I'm an activist so I better be doing more than just calling people out, right? Um, but if you're not an activist, if you have a, not a job, maybe you want to call people out on their shitty behavior um, and you're not an activist, so you're not doing anything else. You're doing your job or whatever. And if somebody says that, well, that's not activism, you might say like, yeah, well, I'm not an activist. That's fair. Um, all right. Let me see what the top comment is. Top comment is Ashley saying, I love Obama, but he missed the mark here. Ooh, I think Ashley is part of the PC culture. Nikki is saying, hey, what if, I think I, I, this is the part that I agree with Obama. The things that they like Obama for, those are the parts I disagree with Obama. Nikki is saying, hey, what if we want all to become unaffiliated and unite? The people in power wouldn't have a chance. Just a thought, I'd be waiting for the rest of your when you're all ready what do you mean if you become an unaffiliated and unite when you unite but you become affiliated with your new group now you have a new group that you're affiliated with i don't understand what that was why was that even part of this comment under this news miles is saying the problem with work culture is that we are over here arguing amongst allies and that right is lockstep with a wannabe dictator no the difference between an imperfect an imperfect ally and an enemy i agree with you miles except one thing the right has its own woke problem to deal with all the people that think that this whole snowflake thing this whole being sensitive about somebody calling you out or somebody mm, offending you or somebody using the wrong terminology it's just a left thing they haven't spent enough time in right wing circles okay again hashtag not all left hashtag not all right okay not all of the right is like this not all of the left is like this but the right also has its own problem okay the right wing people are like oh any anything trans related you bring it up they think it's just tearing out the fabric of society okay everything <laughs> everything you say like hey i'm pro lgbt i like oh you're part of a cult yo you're the lgbt agenda like they get offended they get triggered like this they get triggered like so easily so it's just not this is not just the left 
you know, being a snowflake is not just a left thing, it's also a right thing, okay? Anyways, that was, um, oh yeah, thank you, Camelus, for putting not, hashtag not all, that's exactly, hashtag not all, hashtag not all, just assume, just, I should just wear something on my, you know, forehead, hashtag not all, so I don't have to mention that every fucking time. Anyways, love you all. I managed to do this by myself. Uh, Shopham didn't show up. Ali had an emergency. And Chris showed up. Thank you, Chris, for showing up. But his environment was pretty bad, so he had to let him go. Uh, so, but we tried. I tried. I'm, I tried to do it by myself. I hope I did a good job by myself. I hope you guys forgive other people not being here. Shopham is saying, not all is also annoying, kind of. Why do we need to mention it every every time we say something? Oh, because people are stupid and you have to tell them what you mean. You have to really spill it out for them. Um, but it's okay. We forgive people's um, ignorance. Um, we try. We try. Um, all right, let's Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.